Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding friend requests part 2, who has the most friends, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and this question has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past couple of years. Also, some of you rega ask regarding the SQL schema, so this is how it looks like. I will copy paste this in the description box below, if you guys want to check it out. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called request accepted with three different columns, requester ID, acceptor ID and accept date. The combined columns requester ID and accept date is the primary key for this table. This table contains the ID of the user who sent the request, the ID of the user who received the request and the date when the request was accepted. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the people who have the most friends and the most friends number. The test cases are generated so that only one person has the most friends. Let's go through this example, right? So here we have, you know, different requester IDs, acceptor IDs on da different dates. And we want to find out which person or which ID basically has the most amount of friends, right? So if you look at it, right? So requester ID or basically uh, a person with ID one has one friend, two friend, right? For a uh, requester ID two or person with ID two, there is only one friend for three right so there is one friend then three is also a friend of two right because like even though the person sent the request right and it was accepted by three so once you accept it you both become friends right so three one person is a friend second person is also a friend third person is also a friend right and for four there is only one person who is friend right so the person with the most number of friends is id three and how many total friends three right so that is what we have in the output to do this we can go two routes right so what we can do is we can you know see okay so whatever table we have right now so requester id and acceptor id and then what we can do is we can you know get this acceptor id below this so that you know we have the information that okay one is a friend of two but two is also a friend of one right so that once we group by the this column right requester id column so two is counted as a friend of one but one is also counted as a friend of two right because it is asking which person has the maximum number of friends right so either you can go that route or secondly what we can do is we can take this table group by this column count the number of friends right and then again take this table group by this column and count the number of friends and then have that information available at one place and then group by the entire thing right and count the total right so we can go both route uh, let i am going through the first route if you want you can do the second route as well and let me know like how the solution will look like so what i'm saying is so what we can have is from this table called you know request accepted right so from this table called request accepted let's have you know both the columns right so return requester id and then the acceptor id right uh what we can do is since in our output we have the alias column as id we can do this at the last as well but if you want to do it here as well so it is not an issue so what we can write is let's the alias this as id why because ultimately what i'm saying is like we are having okay so one is a friend of two and then we are also going to have another row where two is also a friend of one right so we can have that and then we can write okay union this and again from this table called request accepted what we are doing is return this time acceptor id as id right and then you have the requester id right uh let me you know run this let's see what we are getting okay so if you look at it right so you have this table right so one two one three two three three four right and then you have the acceptor id and requester id right who is a friend of one as well three is a friend of one right a uh, three is friend of two four is a friend of three right so now once we have this information in this way we can group by this column right group by the id column and count the number of distinct this column right because then it will give you like which person has how many friends right so to move forward what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right so once we have this then what we can do is from this common table expression let's group by the id column right and then return the id column and then count the distinct 
acceptor IDs, right? Count district acceptor IDs and alias this as num because that is what we have in the output. And once you have that, then you need to order by, right? Order by num in decreasing manner because what we are saying is that the test cases are generated so that only one person has the most friends right so it means that if you order by number in decreasing manner and then write limit one so basically whatever is the first value it is going to have the maximum number of friends right okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how I do it. Again, not a very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, for each of the person, try to find out which all IDs are their friend. And when we have that, then you just group by the ID, count the different number of, you know, friends you have, and then order by number in decreasing manner and limit one because the question says like, you know, the test cases are generated so that only one person has the most friends. Also, this question has a follow up as well. In the real world, multiple people could have the most most number of friends right could you find all these people in this case so now the query will change slightly right so instead of you know doing this order by number in decreasing manner and limit one what we would have to do is you know store this so like once you have the information right so for each of the id like how many friends you have then you can store this in another common table expression cte2 and then from that you can do that okay from uh, this common table expression to wherever your you know uh, number of friends is equal to the maximum value right then you return those ids right let me know how the solution will look like in that case right so yeah, this is how i do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video